welcome back. Kermit Von Frick 12, Sam. Or you can say Samara. And Shiloh in the back. <laughs> it's okay, baby. Come here. My dog, he gets nervous when I'm behind my shoji screen. I am actually doing this uh, makeup look because I was thinking about we're going back to school. I'm not. I'm not going back to school, but and I'm going to gear it towards more of the college aspect where you start getting into the sorority parties and you know um, it's still summer school may have started but it's still summer <laughs> and you might want a fun and vibrant look I do um, this this would be something I would wear to a, a friend's barbecue so let's get started I'm going to be picking up this limited edition wet n wild palette quite affordable for those college students who have tuition and food to buy and we're going to start by getting a flat C brush. This one is by e.l.f. Yay, e.l.f. This is a dollar brush. And these little C brushes are really, it just says shadow brush, but it's shaped like a C. C is for cookie. And we're going to take that deep blue. And this is going to be actually a really simple look. Um, and we're going to put that on our mobile lid. And you see that color pigmentation payout? Heck yeah, Wet n Wild. Heck yeah. You can see why I, I constantly am picking up Wet n Wild. Looking for something to fluff off the... So you just pat that in. And I just basically on my mobile lid. They're outstanding colors. How about the excess? It's okay, Shiloh. I'm right here. Look at that. I just stamped my eye. Stamping it up. Alright, and now for a kind of a mid-crease brush. Where's my favorite? I want a favorite. Where's my favorite? That's not it. Sorry, folks. Technical difficulties. We're going to use this uh, 217 from MAC. Um, you could also use. Do I have one from. Okay. This one I think I got at a dollar store. I like colors. So um, this one is an older version. This is my oldest brush I have. It's probably 20 years old. We're going to take that green with this 217 brush. And just begin to swirl that up here into our creasy crease. This would also be fun to do with school colors for games, football games. And we're just blending the blue into the green. But I was, I, I'm just in love with this color set. So you see, I'm just kind of making a, a C shape, kind of, it's bigger on the outside. Unlike the TARDIS. TARDIS blue. I'm just blending it. I already primed my eyes, by the way. I used the Milani eyelid primer. Blend away, blend away, blend away. Now I have the C shape on both sides. Is it even? Is it on straight? Yay. <sighs> so, still going on with the same thing. I am going to take just a blending shade from... Is this the blending shade? Is that the one I want? No, I'm not going to use that one. With a Real Techniques base shadow brush, Take the white powder from that little trio and as you see I press it down first before I blend and then I'll blend it into the green. With gentle feathering motions. Wipe the brush off, press it into that brow bone area. And a lot of these parties um, for sororities, they're in the evening or they're around the pool. I know here at ASU, 
they have a lot of pool activities in the dorms. Some of the dorms are, they have pools. Because it's Arizona. Alright, and we're going to find a little detail brush. Hey, detail brush! Where'd you go? Little detail brush. And we're going to take the uh, green and swoop it, swoop it, swoop it under our eyelash line right there. All the way across. Sail away, sail away. And on trend right now is the bright, bright makeup colors. Especially for a young, youthful girl who just loves makeup and, you know, wants to support whatever they're, whatever you're doing. Adding one more color. I have this single from Went Wild. I think it's like a dollar. I think I got it for 50 cents, though. And it's uh, the Panther. It's the black. It's a very nice black. And with the base shadow brush, we're going to get a little bit of the color on the tip. And just deepen our little corner here and blend it in. See how immediately that makes it a much more sophisticated makeup look? Sophistication! I have none. But my makeup does. I like that. Kind of, it kind of just deepens and adds that dimension that we all crave in our eye shape. Isn't that a nice black? It's a very nice black. I like this black a lot. Did I say that I like this black? Got neon nails for you, too. Taking our little detail brush, brushing it off the tip of the green, a little bit more black, right into the corner of said eye shape. I have a new liquid liner, and I haven't tried it yet. Revlon Color Stay Blackout. I'm skinny. Let's see how it do. I don't mind it. Get off my lash tips. Not bad. I'm not winging it. I always struggle with that eye. It's because I'm right handed. It does a good job with the stamping thing if that's a trick you like to use. Stamp it up. Hey! That's not bad. Not bad at all. Not bad. Boom! I'm letting it dry a little. I'm gonna let that dry a little. I'm gonna put some blush on. I have this palette here. You can use any blush you like. This is the IT Cosmetic palette, and it's super fun. I'm going to use a little bit of the bronzer. Just a little, just to warm up my slight hollow I might have. A little bit on the temple. Take the base of the brush. Blush it up. Just some natural flush. Really didn't want the blush to overpower everything else, because everything else is going to get really powerful real quick. Power! Use any blush you got. Got and like. Got and like. Any blush you got? And like, I'm gonna curl my lashes now. Lash curler. Uh, 
Um, I would suggest a ma uh, waterproof mascara. I actually, I don't buy them. I find they hurt my eyes, so I just use a regular one. If you, if you can suggest a waterproof eye mascara that doesn't sting. This is the Tarte's Lights Camera Lashes, and I like it a lot. That's one coat. One coat. One coat. All right, do our bottom lashes while the top coat dries. I mean, if you wanted to be like extremely, extremely dramatic, you can also do the tight line and water line in black. Do the second coat. Same as the first. A little bit softer, a little bit worse. Black eyeshadow. I like it there. Did you guys see me snort it? I didn't see me snort the black eyeshadow on my nose. I don't know. Things happen. I am going to then locate a lipstick. <laughs> this is Revlon's Fire and Ice, and it's very neon. It's, uh, sorry. One of their uh, original formulas and original colors from when they first started their makeup company. Taken off. And the other foundation that I had on my mouth prior. Oh, I eyelash doohickey. Where's my prep and prime? I'm going to put on some. What is that? I'm going to put on some e.l.f. lip lock pencil. Because it's a bright color. I don't know, I think it's kind of waxy. I'm like, what is that? <laughs> what the heck is that? So let's do this right from the tube. Oh yeah. on trend. I feel like I could go to like a welcome party. Okay. Got my waves out. Get my waves out. I'm ready to go. So, I hope you like this look. I kind of really like it. I don't know. If you like a bold look and you feel like going out to a party, you'll get noticed. <laughs> so, if you uh, have any questions, let me know in the comments uh, box. Rate, comment, subscribe, share with your friends. Um, it ain't easy being green, but it sure is fun. See you next time. Bye-bye.